Trump facing challenges to be barred from the ballot in multiple other states, including New York, Wisconsin, and even Texas, just to name a few. Matt Rinaldi is the chairman of the Texas Republican Party. He joins us now. Chairman, welcome. What's going on in Texas? Would this succeed in removing Trump from the ballot? No, zero chance this succeeds in Texas because Republicans win elections in Texas. We've won every election since 1994 in the state, including every Supreme Court seat. This has zero chance of succeeding because there's zero legal basis for it. I want to ask you if uh, using this, again, the, the 14th Amendment here and pulling candidates off of ballots and away from voters, I mean, that, that's, that is... That is what is happening. If you pull Trump away, you're not allowing the voters to make the decision on, on who should be in office. So Republicans, having said that, in a number of states have now called on this, uh, removing President Biden from their ballot. They've seen the Secretary of State in Maine do it, so now they're firing back. Uh, your Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick floating the possibility of removing President Biden from the ballot in Texas, this for his handling of the border crisis. So, uh, again, your, your thoughts here and this somewhat being used as a, a, a political weapon, uh, your thoughts? Well, I, I think that's more likely than Trump being removed from the ballot in Texas. But listen, I mean, big picture, uh, I think that is the proper response because what's happening here is you're, you're effectively doing away with a presidential election through these legal tactics. I mean, you are effectively replacing presidential electors with secretary of states in each state. And we shouldn't have presidential elections in that, in that way. The people should be able to vote for their president. So the Supreme Court needs to do something about this. And you see Democrats trying to delegitimize the Supreme Court because that's the only thing standing in their way of eliminating presidential elections in this country. When it comes to the border crisis, we cover it almost daily here on National Report. It's a, an incredible problem that this administration is facing here. Uh, is there something that Texas is, steps Texas is taking to actually hold the administration accountable? Uh, yes. And, and by the way, the, the administration doesn't see it as a problem. I think it's actually intentional. Uh, unfortunately, it's a problem for our country. And what Texas is doing, uh, uh, Governor Abbott has done more uh, than any other state governor, I, probably in American history, uh, to uh, secure the border. We just passed a law that effectively makes it a crime to cross the border. So it empowers local governments to arrest uh, and to incarcerate uh, people who cross the border if they do not return uh, back to where they came from. Um, and uh, the, the governor also is funding border security and has mobilized, uh, has mobilized DPS to protect the border as well. I believe it was uh, right around 300,000 they've seen encounters, according to CBP, in December. That is the final month there of 2023. Uh, watching these numbers in the new year, Matt Rinaldi, we appreciate your time, Matt. Thanks. Thank you.